Mm. Holy crap, that literally just blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, damn, that is that is awesome. Well, see, this is this is why Destiny lore is just freaking amazing, just because it has so many layers to mm -hmm. it. Okay, so, ladies and gents, boys and girls, Guardians of All Ages, what if I told you that the Queen of the Awoken, up until the beginning of Taken King, had been alive since the Collapse? Hmm, she's pretty old. That would... Yeah, so, the as all lore videos go while I was researching this, it kind of got out of control and boomed off into other things, but the Genesis started with that question. Uh, was the queen alive during the collapse? On the face of it, it sounds a little absurd. That would make her between four and 500 years old. At the beginning of Taken King, one of the things that she says, however, is, I remember everything about the day I was born. I still bear the scars. The Awoken are my family now, and I am their queen. This is not the only time that we hear a version of this story. Both Ghost Fragment Awoken 2 and Awoken 3 recount similar stories, and it is my belief that Ghost Fragment Awoken 3 is actually from the queen's perspective. You can check them out for yourself, and I will be, like I said, doing a video on this. <clears throat> um, anyways, so this started down another rabbit hole. Would it have been possible for the queen to have been alive during the collapse, as I said, uh, till Taken King? The short answer is yes. Why? Because Awoken are ageless immortals. That I was not aware of. I didn't know that. Uh, to skirt over some biology, Awoken are not human anymore. Mm -hmm. A human and Awoken would not be able to have a child if they bred. The Awoken's blue skin pretty much stops this because the chromosomes are not the same. Uh, and that's, again, skirting over biology. Uh, and from what I can tell, you know, Awoken don't age. But I know what you're thinking. But Joker, Tyra Karn, the Cryptarch, mm -hmm. she's old. Yeah. Well, not only is she Awoken, not only is she old, but she's a Guardian. Oh. Mm. We know that she's a Guardian because she had the same light vision that we had. All Guardians had that vision. And when she was disconnected from the Traveler's Light, she uh, started having dementia. Okay? So, in all likelihood, what happened was she was just old when she was turned into an Awoken, like the Queen, like Zaval, you know, mm -hmm. and died, you know, shortly after the collapse and was brought back as an old Awoken lady. Mm -hmm. You know? Another example, like I said, is Zavala. Zavala is clearly hundreds of years old. But I know what you're thinking. Zavala's a guardian. Well, guardians do age. Look at Saladin. Saladin was kind of a young man during the end of, uh, or during the beginning of the Siva conflict where the Iron Lords go into the replication chamber. But then, you know, by the rise of iron, when we're doing things with him, he's, he's older, he's aged. And then in Destiny 2, the guy's senile. <laughs> um, but Zavala, Zavala went to the city, um, you know, when it was mud huts. And he hasn't aged a day since. Yeah. So, um, Saladin, like I said, you know, is getting older and older and older and more senile. And uh, Zavala isn't. So we have multiple different things were awoken just aren't playing by the rules of basic humans there's a reason for this in 2013 at a gdc panel joseph staten said the inspiration for awoken were vampires elves angels and ghosts <laughs> elves and vampires have you know huge lifespans so or are practically immortal mm -hmm. so it comes back to Everything that the lore is telling us and everything that we kind of see kind of says that, yeah, not only was the queen alive during the collapse, but uh, there's reason to believe that Awoken are just functionally immortal due to the mixture of the darkness and the light. Holy crap, that literally just blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn, that is that is awesome. Well, see, this is this is why Destiny lore is just freaking amazing. Just because it has so many layers to mm -hmm. it, dude. I just wish it was in game. 
Yeah. <sighs> wow, do that we, is. Do cool. we know why the Traveler chooses who he chooses and why? Like, do we know why? So Destiny 2 was supposed to tell us that. Yeah. <laughs> um, one of the things that's like, it'll it'll tell you why why we're chosen and yada, yada, yada. And it but did. then, like, well, maybe. So, okay. the tra so the speaker does this whole spiel about it's death and sacrifice and honor and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But then at the end, Gull just goes, no, pushes a button and does what he wants. <laughs> so maybe the point was that it's all meaningless. Mm -hmm. That it's just, like, random. Mm -hmm. And, like, it is what it is. Because ghosts aren't beholden to one owner. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Our ghost actually went to somebody before us mm -hmm. and tried to revive them. Mm -hmm. This is an Easter egg in the um, one of the Taken King missions. If you go up to the wall, there's a bunch yes. of cryopods, and you can scan yes. it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, I tried to revive this guy, but he was like, no, nah, I don't want to come back. Which actually brings a whole other set of questions, because nine, out of, nine times out of ten, Guardians aren't supposed to remember anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yet, Shin Malfur remembers... And then this guy remembers. Mm -hmm. And then Kate remembers the collapse. Kind of. In his journal, he writes about the collapse. Um, so, what I'm thinking is Guardians, if they die and they're res right after they die, they'll probably have their all their memories. But the reason that they don't, it comes less from the, the light, you know, wiping your memory and more from the decay of the human brain. Right, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Man. Um, in fact, I would also hazard that we died 12 years at the most before we were revived in game. Because human bones, if left to the elements, don't last more than 12 to 15 years. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you did a lot so of I mean, research. I like a lot of, I know, I yeah, I like that. In yeah. Destiny. You yeah. thought a lot about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. That's and I like I put this the same amount of thought into what I'm going to eat for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, you should see you should see the um the mm -hmm. thought I put into how long Destiny 1 was. Was it actually 4 years or was it 96 years? Mm. Cuz the day night cycle in Destiny 1 is every hour. Mm -hmm. There are, you know, 90 essentially 96 years worth of days then within yeah. 4 years. Mhm. Mm so yeah. I don't think Punchy thought of it that far. Into it. <laughs> I don't personally. I don't think they were like, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Then I start like uh, another mm -hmm. one that I'm working on that this kind of let uh -huh. uh, that this video kind of le leapt into was um, how when did the Exodus Black crash in relation to the collapse? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, oh, I did see your video about this. Mm -hmm. Or I yeah, I was posting about tweet it or really. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, if you go by light speed or near light speed, which I have to imagine the ship would have been traveling because if we did it now, it'd be something like 23 million years to get to where the Exodus Black was going on like normal shuttle speed that we have now. Mm -hmm. So you have to imagine it was going at, you know, near light travel or light travel, and that makes it like 56 years. So you still want to put people in cryo, right? Mm -hmm. But if they're doing that, if it's at light speed, then it took them four hours to get to Nessus because Nessus is a real planet, planet toy centaur thing. Yeah. And so out by Neptune. So it's like, well, then the Awoken, when they left from the Earth and, and crashed in the reef, they were only in flight for 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. Before the collapse. I didn't know because that. Because I, I started, well, I started doing what it would take at light speed to get to places within our solar system. Mm. Um, so I'm like looking at all this. Now, I don't know if Bungie did all this math. You know, <laughs> I think I'm being a little over, mm. you know, but it's still interesting, you know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's really cool. You should be a writer there. You should <laughs> go. I encourage you. I've applied. I've applied. <laughs> yeah, well, they got his application blocked. <laughs> <laughs> just like my tweets just uh, like your tweets <laughs> I'm gonna go there I'm gonna take it over and I'm gonna hire you <clears throat> immediately do it <laughs> alright if you like what you saw here and you wanna see more you can find me every Friday night at 745 Eastern Standard Time over on the DTR podcast at twitch.tv slash destiny track and like always my fellow guardians stay frosty <laughs>